Hello! It is so satisfying to see 50% on the stars. We are halfway through the secret stars of the game. That makes me happy. I have had a shower, had dinner and all that. And, uh, we're gonna get back into things here. Puzzle 5, Dyad. Right. We could teleport in there, but I'm pretty sure that would trap us. Let's not do that just yet. There's our ultimate goal. Hmm. Alright. That seems simple enough. Yeah, there's that. Oopsie. Let's pick it up, not teleport it. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty basic. Ooh, interesting. We have another one. I think I know what that's for. Yep. Um... That's a good vantage point, right? Yeah, seems like it. Wait a minute. How are we gonna do that? I'm just back in the same situation as poor, aren't I? Well. Right, right, I can put this here. Ooh, what about that? I guess I need to teleport it? Myself? Hmm. Might be something I'm missing with these. It doesn't work through walls, that's the thing. Yeah, I can't hit that. I feel like I need to get the jammer in here, right? Don't I? Am I misunderstanding the mechanic here? Oh, well, come on, I've run up steeper slopes than this before. <laughs> Something a misunderstanding. Yeah, these don't work through barriers. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> I just needed to move that to view so I could uh it from here. Yeah, that's all I needed. Okay. Still don't understand the other one, though. You know, Wonka, you're not entirely terrible at this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Right, let's see. Anything on the compass of interest? Some question mark in that direction? Right, I need to redo... It's right there. Right, I need to redo that. I, I forgot that that would be reset. I like this music, though. This is good music. Hmm. Well, let's continue on, I suppose. Or should I go back and do that? Ah, we'll do that once we know where to use it. I think the fingers of the hand just ever so slightly block the angle for hitting it from that one, and that's why we need multiple puzzles. Or maybe what was what was the other connector for, if not? We'll figure it out. What would happen if this collapsed before we got here, you know? <laughs> Ooh. A pyramid triangle lost puzzle, you know. What's this, though? Aha! An ancient vehicle capable of transporting multiple individuals or additional equipment common used by workmen. Oopsie. Expedition Megathread. Please post your thoughts on the expedition in this thread and keep it civil. 
Saying that the powers Athena has unlocked are world-changing, it's our responsibility to use them to lessen suffering for all living things. We know we heard your broadcast. I think we're being tested by Byron... Uh, we were being tested and Byron failed the test. But ha what happened to Byron was an accident. Is there a difference ultimately? Yes, there is. No one's actually seen Athena or Cornelius or Miranda at the megastructure. They could all still be aliens. <laughs> I feel like we need to at least think about the potential of all these new technologies. Maybe the Founder is trying to teach us how to use them. Why is everything malfunctioning on the island now? Is it because of Byron? He was still logged into the system. His presence may be destabilizing it somehow. Or is Pandora? She seems to want to stop the team. Honestly, I wonder if Pandora is just somehow malfunctioning. Like, she's supposed to protect the megastructure, but she can't tell friend from foe. The choice of Pandora is as a symbol cannot be accidental, and the message is obvious. The megastructure is Pandora's box, and we should not open it. <laughs> Yep, that's certainly one interpretation. My interpretation was just that there's three differing viewpoints on the same thing. And point Pandora is one viewpoint, Prometheus is an opposing viewpoint, and the Sphinx is somewhere in the middle. Well, let's go do this uh, triangle puzzle. Aerial war- It's right there. <laughs> You're really letting these puzzles be open air. Just seen aesthetic. Ooh. <laughs> so close! <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, those don't do anything for us right now. We need the box first. How do we get that, though? Okay, I guess we need to take this down. That lets us... Really? They <laughs> hit our head on the way down. This is not high enough, evidently. Yeah, that's about what I expected, honestly. Alright, what about over here? Uh, also not high enough. Okay. Might FOB get reset at some point? Uh... I hope I didn't need to click on something. It was still at 90. I guess it's just the vertical field of view that's, that's bad, because... Games usually only let you adjust one or the other instead of both. My horizontal field of view is nice, but the vertical field of view could uh, really use some work, in my opinion. How am I supposed to do anything here, really? Yeah, that's about what I thought. I warp to that from... Can I get an angle on anything in here? I don't think that would help me, though. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... That's not helpful. Right, I can stand on the button. Right, maybe that's what I was missing in that other puzzle, actually. It's the fact that I can stand on the button myself. If it's really that simple, then I feel kinda dumb, honestly. Hmm... Put that somewhere more accessible, like there. And we'll take both of these things up here. What if we do this?
Uh, okay, that kind of works, I suppose. Oh no. Oh no. I did not mean to walk off that ledge. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe I should have put it on top of the box. Well, trying to restart checkpoints. back in here. <laughs> Trade places. Right, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> it's got this- the teleport reminds me of the jump here, and so I was pressing space to use jump here, <laughs> and expecting it to warp me up there. Alright, let's put this here, and let's put this on top of the box to see if that helps. Oh! That kinda worked and kinda didn't at the same time. Well, I'll take it. Like, it kind of got shoved off and then it stayed on anyway. Or maybe that's just the particle effects or something, I don't know. But anyway, we, we came out here and we did it, so... Maybe that's to get us thinking about putting this on top of the box, because when we lift the box in the air, we normally can't get on it, right? Yeah, that's probably what that's about. Yeah, because otherwise we normally wouldn't be able to stand on this. Or get up here. Interesting. The new potentials with this. So this is why- this is a big distinguishing factor compared to the- the clones that we can take control of. Understand. Yes, yeah, so let's put this somewhere like here. There we go. Hey, nice. Okay. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Did it. Alright. Yep, okay. Let's go see if I can solve puzzle four now. Because I think I know what I'm missing. And if it's really as simple as that, then <laughs> I feel kinda dumb. But then again, I hadn't had dinner yet, so, you know. I'll blame it on that. Oops. That was a bit spooky. <laughs> see, nope. I guess we gotta go around the long way. Here we are. All right. Let's do this the proper way now. I need this the other way around, actually.
Yeah, yeah, I'm so dumb for not thinking of that. <laughs> it's so obvious in hindsight. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, that was- that was all it took. Drop the tool first, fine. Return to a puzzle for a second attempt. <laughs> the game knows! <laughs> I did not know that was an achievement, okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's pick up where we left off, I suppose. What an achievement. <laughs> I can't remember if the first game had an achievement like that too, or... Like, maybe it did, I don't remember. Oh, there's something over there, gotta keep that in mind. Which one is this? Six. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's what we need to do next anyway. Yeah, there's a question mark over there. The rest of your compass seems okay. Is there a connector in this one? Still not sure what to do about the connectors over there. I don't know what to connect it to. Maybe maybe the puzzle over there or something. Translocator, right? Puzzle 6, Translocator. Okay. So that does two things? Yes, two things. Hmm... I see how this is gonna be. Maybe. Yes, because that also opens this one. Okay. We gotta do that. There needs to be... An... It would be nice if there's an easy way to, like, swap items or whatever. It's like, if I'm holding this, I want to swap it with a cube so that they ch exchange positions. Uh, I guess the reason they don't have that is because they need to enforce that temporary delay where there's nothing on the button. They could still enforce that with swapping, though. Like, obviously I can do that. But it's not as convenient as just having an actual exchange items in my hand button. Anyway, I need this on here anyway. Right, that one's that one's free, kinda. Alright. So yeah, this this is basically a way to bypass these barriers when you have a button that you can stand on anyway. Hmm, okay, we need to bypass this barrier as well. There we go. We need something on this button, we also need to be over there. Oh, can I just do that? Is that all I need? I'm overcomplicating things. <laughs> yep, we're done. I was overcomplicating things.
This might give us a good vantage point on that connector way off in the distance. It's somewhere over there, right? Yeah, I think it's on top of that. Oh, and I see connectors in here. Maybe we should go deal with that sooner rather than later. Although, I don't know a fast way to get back across. Um... Yeah, maybe we will do it afterward. Alright, so this is a 7, right? Remote interchange. A jammer. I guess we need a jammer to get in there. That's quite a generous jump here. Can I really make that jump? It's probably I could pick up from that distance as well. Wow, I really can make that jump. Okay. Interesting. I can take it over the fence? Really? Is that intended? <laughs> that does not seem very intended to me. But okay. We specifically do not have line of sight for this one, though. Interesting. Because we could do that, but then we can't... can't get out. Don't need that like that anymore, right? Okay. Well, that simplifies things then. There we go, jammer stolen. And we don't need this on here anymore. Um we do need the cube though. There we go. Actually, let's put this first. Okay, that works. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Did it. I'm impressed. This area is kind of a chore to walk around because of how separated and isolated everything is because of the water. Did I miss a question mark? Oh, the terminal, right. Chernyshevsky's from Arcades in Our Likeness. Essays on humankind reaching adulthood. The question of our relationship with nature has bedeviled us since the earliest days of our species. Since before the first city was built, we felt that there was something different about us. Animals, we intuited, were part of nature. We were not. But of course, humans clearly are the products of nature. Our history intertwined with that of every other species. In fact, the very notion of the unnatural is a contradiction in terms. Everything that exists must, by definition, be natural. So this view, no matter how common, is deeply paradoxical. This paradox has produced a great deal of confusion. Some proclaim us chosen by a divine power set above all other creatures and are justly accused of arrogance. Others proclaim us sinners, worse than other creatures, and are rightly accused of misanthropy. Others yet try to oppose this binary by saying that we are merely animals after all, but that too is manifestly wrong, and that no other animal is capable of having this conversation. It is in the conscientious sorry, it is in the contentious issue of our impact on the ecosphere that an answer may be found. 
Other animals have accidentally terraformed the planet before, driving other species to extinction. This is not unnatural. If we continued our current path, even to the point of changing climate enough to cause the collapse of civilization, that would be entirely in keeping with how animals behave. But there is one profound way in which we are not like animals. We can learn to understand ourselves and the world. It is this knowledge that makes us fundamentally different. We have choices. We have control. There are many today who are afraid of the consequences of control and would prefer a return to a state of animal ignorance, whether by blinding ourselves with the impact of our actions or by demanding we humble ourselves before nature. This is the response of an adult in crisis, which is for a return to childhood. But this can only ever be regressive in every sense of the word. To resolve the paradox of nature, we must act as adults, accept their power, and act consciously and deliberately in shaping the world. We must become nature, and nature must become human. Athena says, This is the heart of the matter, lifting up the world rather than lowering ourselves. Why do so many people so badly want to lower themselves? Cornelius says, Do they want to, or is it simply a convenient pose to strike? Yeah, I agree with Athena here. I like this. This this explores the nuance that I was talking about that so many others lack. Only a surface level, of course, but it's still that's more nuanced than the others. Upgrade. From Miranda to Athena. We upgraded the lab with my new designs. Synthesizing some of the pieces took longer than expected. We still have some bugs to iron out when it comes to complex structures, but it worked. Now the labs are safer and prettier. Although Father says they look too much like spaceships. I don't see it, do you? Father... So... Is Cornelius the father? Of this family unit? Interesting. Today, we were delighted to be visited by a bunch of protesters. These voluntary extinction weirdos who think we're creating soulless monstrosities that will destroy the planet. <laughs> they broke into the facility and started yelling at everyone. Fun, 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 right? Then, oh, then one of them lunged at Alex. Big mistake. Chernyshevsky grabbed the guy and literally threw him across the room. I mean, almost threw him all the way off the dam. After that, eh, the rest of them had a change of heart. Now, I'm telling you this because mostly it is not like that. But and these people do exist. And somewhere in their shriveled little souls, they think that they're doing the right thing. They think they're being righteous. Now to me, what Alex is trying to do is an obvious good. But that's not the same for everyone. Hey, I found a flame. But yeah, that that's a, a truth that you have to realize is that a lot of people in the world even the ones who are doing terrible things, a lot of them think that they're doing good. A lot of them think that they're the ones in the right. And uh, that's why the problem is so complicated. Because, uh, you know, how do you convince someone that when they think they're doing the right thing, they're actually not? And how do you know that you're not one of those people? How do you know that you think properly about whether you're right or wrong? How do you know that when you think you're doing something right, it actually is right, and not just a, a falsehood. It's such a complex problem. That's why education is so important. And that's why education is being attacked. Because people who know they're doing the wrong thing, and they're doing the wrong thing on purpose, they are attacking education because they know that is one of the things that could defeat their ideals. It's working twice as fast now, and I think I can increase matter output by 25% if I tweak the modulator a little. I'm so excited! Nice to meet you, so excited. I'm Cornelius. What? <laughs> oh, Dad! This is science! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for the right moment. Ah, there's the lab. Okay. What do we have over here? Isn't this curious? What is over there? 
Because that's puzzle eight, right? And we already did two triangle puzzles. That does not look like one that we've done. Unless it's part of puzzle eight. But I don't think it is. Oh, this is the, um... Yeah, that's what this is about. Ooh. What's the orientation for this, though? Is there a way to tell these apart? Same thing on top of them. Does the orientation even matter? Oh, okay, so there's a missing one here. Okay, so that that's the top right. So orientation is from here. Um Oh, there's also a missing one here. Okay, now things make sense. Yeah, alright. Come on now. Uh, why is that sound still playing? When did this happen? Okay. Witnessing all this incredible technology discovered by the expedition has given me an idea for something we could do if we had the resources and the energy. Are you ready for this? Taste buds! Seriously, how have we gone for so long without something our ancestors to consider so essential? Don't you want to know what pizza tastes like? What it's like to eat chocolate? To have an apple? What's the deal with... What the deal is with fizzy drinks? I mean, come on. Uh, don't they have his simulation technology already? I'm kind of confused by this, because obviously we, we started in the simulation with Elohim at the start of this game. And they say that you can visit that whenever you go to sleep mode, so... You'd think that they'd be able to just... Do stuff like that in the simulation, right? Also, taste is one of those things where... Unless they use human DNA to recreate a human and figure things out like that, they're, they're never going to be able to figure out exactly how things tasted, because it's also very subjective and varies from person to person, and, you know, it's like, like color and, and other senses. It's, so, it's something that there's not an objective truth behind it, because it's entirely within the mind of the individual, how they perceive it. Like, a lot of the thing, a lot of the reasons that things taste good or bad to us is just because that's how it happens through evolution, and uh, now we're kind of stuck with that for better or worse. To have an apple, what's the deal with the drinks? I mean, come on, sounds fun. A sheer range of new experiences is almost overwhelming to just imagine it. Please, please let this happen. Why change ourselves when we, when we are what we were meant to be? You know we're all upgraded, right? This isn't our original design in the first place. And what's next? We start killing animals again just for the pleasure of tasting them? We cover the earth in fuels like our ancestors did? Subjugate the natural world for our own greed? Our choices are, what is the point of an apple that cannot be tasted? Enriching our conscious experience makes the universe more aware of its own splendor. Grouping human life is with matters, which we should do it. Seems like a waste of effort. I want to know what frogs taste like. That goes right, this will lead us down a bad path. Ah, uh, once again, there's not enough nuance here. They really give us a lot of binary options. And only hint and tease at a bit of nuance. And never give us the option to pick the nuance. I think that's something Athena would say. Beautifully put, 1k. We could do smelling too. I'd like to know what cat fur smells like. And after that, new senses that old school humans never had. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> yeah, new senses, that'd be fun. Uh, new research. Oh, from Yakut, just woke. I just had to stop and take a picture. I never cease to be amazed by the beauty of this planet. Alright. Back to what I was looking at, please. I'm sure there's a way to like pin this on the side, like where they show the, the videos sometimes. Right, one more here. No? Yeah, 
Yeah, tetromino shape here. And those two like that. I think I've done it right, unless it's the other way around. Uh, I guess I've got to invert it. There we go, just had to invert the pattern. Alright. What is going on over there? How do I get over there? Not like this, evidently. It's not related to this. Can't get through here. Oh, it's for that. Okay, okay, I understand now. Yeah, can't do that yet. Okay, what's up? Alright, I already talked to Yakut previously. Alright, let's do Puzzle 8. Switcheroo. Is that intended? Maybe. The old switcheroo, huh? Don't need anything back here anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can make that. I do want to try it a couple more times, though. Yeah, because it descends, we can't jump. All right, well then. Wait, what do we need to connect this to, though? Ah! Okay. That's easy enough. Oh, I need to do this. No, I can do this, okay. There we go. Easy, easy. Oh, right, but, um... Yeah, that's, uh, not gonna work quite how we wanted it to. Nothing else, right? Yeah, nothing else. We have everything.
Wow, these prompts are, like, really inconsistent, aren't they? Do that. Yeah, and the fan is permanent. Not that we'd want to remove it anyway. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the things this game allows, despite the lore. Unless they have, like, internal balancing mechanisms. Yeah, that's about what I expected, honestly. That's not gonna work. It won't let us take the box. <laughs> Excuse me? What just happened there? <laughs> oh, that's funny. We need some way to put that back on there while also being up here ourselves. The issue is that I can't stand on the box at the same time the connector's there. And I can do this. Now I can stand on the box at the same time the teleporter's here. But now I can't put the connector on while I'm here to put the teleporter on the button. Yeah, and I can't do that either. I guess I have to put the connector up here in advance, maybe? That's what I have to do, okay. Now it makes sense. Let's put that on there. I have to put the connector up in advance. And then, yeah, that's why it's called switcheroo. Okay, now it's making sense. Now I can put it there. Even though that's quite a distance, it somehow works. Yay! Did it. Okay. Alright, now let's try to get that other secret. I guess we gotta go the long way around, right? Unless we can't... Unless we have a shortcut here, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh, yes we do! Excellent. Right, that's what leads to that. Okay. Anything up... Oh, right, this is where we came initially. Wow, I missed that. <laughs> Alright, let's go do the green laser. 
see if we can figure out what that's about. I didn't notice very many puzzles with connectors, except for eight had them, right? Or seven? One of them, you know. Seven and eight both have it, I think. Uh, I need to move this somewhere better. There, that'll be fine. Maybe that. Forget that, but that's okay. Yeah, we just barely cannot hit that one over there for some reason. All right. Let's see what we can do about that, if anything. We should also collect... Oh, what's this? Anchor. An early human invention designed to keep boats from drifting by making use of gravity. Anchors also carried many symbolic associations. I wonder what the symbolic association is in the anchor in the game control. Right, there's the one I need to get the star from. It's easy to forget I have a compass, because I don't normally play games with compass markers and objective markers and all that. When the heavens are silent, what is a prophet? And what is a tyrant? Very interesting question. Oh, it's in a tree. That certainly makes it trickier. Yeah, now that this barrier is down, this will make things easier to get a shot here. So... Gotta redo this a bit. Though that's a question. So we've got that, but then where else? Where else we need to aim it at? I don't really see anything else. Got an angle from there. Not sure this helps us really, though. Well, it at least helps us find it from an el elsewhere. Yeah, because we just barely can't see the other connector there. in here, right? I think there were. Ooh, but we've got high walls here. Um, first of all... Excuse me? There we go. Don't need that anymore.
We can get a second box, but... Yeah, we can get a second box. But I don't think it'll help us much, honestly. We don't have an angle from here anyway, it's too high up. I think- I think they did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's head back up to this one then, I suppose. Was there a connector in here? I don't think there was. Yeah, no, just box and teleporter. Oh, the mystery seconds. Don't fall in the water, don't fall in the water. Do not. What about here? Was there a connector in here? No. No, there was not. What about the one I got stuck in? Does that have a connector? It does. The question is... Can I even see... what I want to see? Can I even make the connection? Where is it? Oh... Well... Oh, how am I supposed to do this then? Yeah, this clearly connects. Probably why this is here, like this. Now let's get the box just in case. Is there anything we could see from here, though? Well, these vantage points are not good. What about in this direction? Maybe... Did that one have any connections? Connectors, I mean? I don't think it did, right? It had the accumulator. But how do we... But we that still doesn't answer the question how we get the green signal here, so that's not useful right now. It up. I don't see how that vantage point helps us, though. Unless... How many different puzzles are we gonna have to go through for this one? to go to the other one. Eight. 
Let's try it. Hmm. This is kind of a shortcut around, I guess, maybe. Depending on your definition, a shortcut. Might be used in speedruns. Here is the question. Oh, not liking my chances. Yeah, we're blocked by the statue. What are we supposed to do exactly, though? Maybe the accumulator can see this? I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll figure this out in the next episode. Thank you for watching.